whole time I thought the thing was on. Holy crap, I'm a terrible YouTuber. It's Sunday morning, July 17th. Bob is off in his Mitsubishi little red sports car he has to a car show and swap meet for Barracudas. He's not driving the Barracuda because it has an oil, a small oil leak and needs a few things done to it. It's actually off to the shop tomorrow morning. I'm going to follow him over there in my Subaru. We're going to drop it off for about a week or so and they're going to do a bunch of stuff to it. So. Anyway, in the meantime, he's off to the car show. While he's doing that, I'm gonna to go to the kids' house. I need to water plants for them because they're away. And I've got a bag of donations I need to drop off. Speaking of which, let's grab the bag. Um, maybe I'll stop in the shop and look around. I don't know. I don't really need anything, so who knows. Um, other than that, the only other thing I have to do today is edit video, maybe today, write the post for the week. When Bob gets back, he needs to work on our pond in the back and put a second layer of sealer on it because it has a leak. I think I said that already. Anyway, and I, I need to help him prep the Barracuda for tomorrow's trip to the mechanic shop. So it's gonna be kind of a busy Sunday. Nothing wrong with that. I'll be back. Just about have Monday's work done on Sunday. Yay, I love it when that happens. I'm uploading the last video to the Patreon, Patreon, to the patron only YouTube channel. It is currently 3.52 p.m. And I got the two videos edited. I needed to edit um, the public one, which is the vlog. It goes up on Wednesday. There's some creative painting content and stuff in there and stuff like that. Um, and then the Patreon one, which is um, less edited than what you all see here on the public channel. Anyway, um, so that's done and the posts are already written and scheduled for next week. Chores are done. I have to wash one bowl out, but chores are done. Bob's back from his car show swap meet drag race thing he went to. Um, so yeah. It's a good Sunday so far, yay. All right, I'll be good back. morning, July 19th, no, 18th. Oh, heck, I don't know, hold on. It is 8.21 a.m. That's right, a.m. Um, we are taking Adrian, a.k.a. Bob's 1973 Plymouth Barracuda, for those that don't know, in to get some work done on her. She needs some things done. Yeah, we're gonna be dropping her off for a few days. And yeah, so I have to I have to follow him in the Subaru. Um, so he has a way to get home. And I've got a car full of parts for Adrian. So um yeah, we're gonna go do that this morning. And then I need to come home and have more coffee because I haven't had all my coffee yet. So <sighs> we'll be back.
saw, I think we actually got this done and we're going to sit with it for a couple of days and I'll take another look at it. Yes, it will be for sale. So if you're interested, message me. Uh, I also used the extra paint on that one. I do already have a plan for that one. I think I know where, where it's going to go. So my brain is just overflowing with these right now. I don't, I don't know what to say, but anyway, um, I also got a page done in one of my journals. Um, memories of our time in Leavenworth and I'm turning the computer off. I guess it's unavoidable now. I have to go down and do the dishes because you know, chores are a thing. I'll be back. Good morning. It is 10.30 this morning, Thursday, uh, Tuesday, July 19th. I almost said Thursday. Holy cow. Anyway, Letty um, is downstairs cleaning our housekeeper and friend. She's downstairs. I'm upstairs taking my koi watercolor boxes apart. I've got two of them, this one and a bigger one. And I'm going to bag the colors up with their swatches in little bags and put them in my box with my backup watercolors. Um, I never use them in the box. I'm not a fan of the box. Uh, I also have two of these brushes. Also not a fan of those. I won't get rid of them because I will use them for something, but the way they are, they're just taking up space. I literally have not opened these since before we moved to Oregon almost four years ago. So that's kind of telling, right? All right. I'm going to watch some YouTube, I'm going to get this done, and I'll be back. Okay guys, Letty is done, house is clean, yay. Um, Client check came in the mail today. So I'm gonna spend some time wrapping up the painting and sending her on to her new home. And the one I just finished, which is for sale, um, is got her clear coat and she's drying. Hold on. She's got her clear coat and she is drying and then she is ready to be sold and move on to her new home. Right now and my muse is painting crazy. Yes. I've started a new one. I don't know. Hey guys, anyway. good morning. It is Wednesday, July 20th, I think. Pretty sure. Anyway, it's 10.21 a.m. Had a little bit of a late start this morning. I decided to just sleep in because I was tired and so, you know. But I have already gotten the pine tree schmutz cleaned up out of the driveway, which in turn got tree sap on my hands, which I then had to clean off. I got the dishes done, all that stuff. So now we're gonna go, I've got a painting, I've got a mail to a client, so we're gonna go take care of that today. Might make a couple stops, but we'll see. I might not feel like it. I'm gonna play by ear. Um, and then I need to do a bunch of filming today, tomorrow and Friday, and I need to work on the new painting on the easel and I need to make some more iced coffee and some overnight oats. Like I have a list. I've been writing it down as I think of things because yeah. Anyway, one thing at a time, right? It's all you can do. And if you have trouble remembering like me, just write it down. Then you're not woken up at two o'clock in the morning with that thing you forgot to do. Anyway. All right, we are gonna go get it done and I'll be back.
guys, I got a little painting done. Uh, a lot of painting done, maybe. So I got a new painting started. It's not, big. It's not done, but that's a really good start for where I, I think I want to go with this. Love that. Um, I think I said earlier that this one is done and it's drying. It's all dry here. I need to move it. It's got its clear coat. It's been signed and all of that stuff on the back. And then I made, I did a watercolor this morning for the people who are working on my husband's sports car. Hold on. Nice about working on his car. And as a thank you, um, I did them a little piece. And uh, here we go. Uh, North American Muscle Cars, name of the place. And uh, really nice couple own the business. And I'll put their link to their website down below. Check them out. Uh, anyway, uh, I got all that done and I was going to do something else and I was going to like write it down before I forgot. Yeah, I forgot. So <laughs> then I bought another pencil sharpener. I really don't need another one, but I'm looking for a pencil sharpener to put into my sort of go drawing bag, watercolor drawing bag, because I do take that with me. We go out of town, um, we go visit my dad or whatever. That bag goes with me and I really need something that can sharpen my pencil and I'm not like getting shavings everywhere in my bag or whatever that the shavings can be contained because sometimes I'm in public at a restaurant and I'm not that person that's just gonna throw shavings on the ground. I have this one, this was recommended and I actually had to get it on Amazon because my local shop was completely sold out. And while I like the way it sharpens and it does a really great job and it's nice and it's flat enough to fit in my bag and um, it holds a decent amount of shavings, this little drawer here, the little hole that where you put the pencil in and when you close it, that's where it keeps the shavings in. If it opens, the shavings fall out. It doesn't always close all the way. So although I like it, that's a problem. I have another one I will put a picture of here um, that I like. I got it at Dick Blick. It's a good, again, it's a good sharpener. It stays nice and closed so the shavings don't get it everywhere and it's not messy. I'm just not crazy about how it sharpens. Um, I also have, it's like, I have so many pencil sharpeners, you guys. I have lots of these, but they're not contained and sh shavings go everywhere. Um, and I have this one from Prismacolor. A lot of people have this one. This is great. Talk about bulky. It doesn't fit in your bag easily. It's good for in studio, but I mean, I have these for like large crayon. I mean, crayon, well, crayons or pencils. I've got, this is a Crayola one. I don't even know why I have this because I'm not, well, I guess I do have a few. No, I don't even need this one. There's so many. I've got sanders, I've got filers. Yeah, there's a lot. And n like none of them, it might, this might be the next drawer I have to go through. And none of them are like great. Now I can't get it closed. Ay, ay, ay. None of them are great. And so I found this one today at my local Asian market. They have a little section from die of stuff from Daiso. And um the dot, this dial is for um, changing, you know, the size of the point that you want on the pencil. This is where you empty it. And what I really like, which I didn't know when I bought it, this is like a door. Like that's gonna be, I think, hard to accidentally get open, maybe, maybe. I don't know, we'll try it, we'll see. I don't know, that's all we can do, right? Anyway. You wouldn't think that would be a hard thing to do, find a decent travel pencil sharpener, but evidently it is. Unbelievable. <laughs> anyway, first, first world problems, right? All right, I'll be back.
guys, that was a successful morning. So four journal pages, four videos, all filmed and in the can, so to speak. Yeah, I feel good about that. All right, time for lunch before we figure out what we're gonna do next. And we're gonna go, we've gotta go water the kids' plants when Bob gets off of work, so we'll do that when he's off. All right, I'm gonna shut things down. I'll be back. Okay, lunch is over. And I actually have turned the computer off early. It's about one, just after one o'clock, I think. Um, I could do a lot of other things, but I'm gonna go for a walk. It's a little bit warmish out. It's like 79, 80 degrees. So I do have some water with me. I don't think we're gonna go too far. I didn't bring any art supplies. I'm just gonna go walking. We haven't been in a few days because of the weather. Last night it didn't cool off until like 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock or something last night. It's been 90 plus for a few days, so. We haven't hit peak heat yet today. It will get hotter. Uh, our peak is usually about three o'clock here where we are near Portland. But before it hits that, I think I'm gonna go get some steps in. All right, let's go see what we can see. I'll be back. Hey everybody, I can still say that because it's not noon yet, but it's close. It's just about 11.30. And although I did sleep in a little bit this morning, it has been a busy morning. Um, so, and I haven't even edited the videos I shot yesterday. I shot four videos yesterday of different journal pages, one including an artsy trio. And I haven't even touched any of that footage yet. I just put the SD card into the computer. I've been working on an online art portfolio, probably a new website. Um, and maybe that'll include a blog, an actual written blog. Um, I'm also putting the entire Etsy shop on sale starting August 8th. And um, yeah, because I'm gonna be transitioning, I think, away from Etsy. I know, right? Um, there are purge boxes for sale and um, they are listed and they are included in the, in the sale price. Um, and so there are sort of mystery boxes. They include stamps and stencils, so I mean, you know, I don't remember what all else is in there, to be honest with you. Um, it should say some kind of description in the in the uh, listing description. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, I'm just transitioning away from Etsy. It's not really benefiting me at the moment, and we're going to be doing something else. And I will be also probably pursuing more custom artwork and client work and selling some of my artwork uh, privately. And so if you're interested in something, let me know. Um, I will still have digital downloads available, but they'll be on the new website. For now, they're all still available on Etsy. And they're gonna, like I said, they're gonna be on sale. Now, if you're a patron or supporter, you get access to the sale now and you get a discount code that is for a bigger percentage off than what you're all gonna get in a general sale. I know, right? In fact, I gotta create that patron um message over on patreon right now patreon's not too expensive it's like two dollars a month the link is down below if you want to support the free content here on youtube plus you have your own private youtube channel for patrons and supporters only and and a private facebook chat where you can get a hold of me and we can chat and i can share things as they happen and all of that stuff so anyway That was a big choice, but I'm glad I made it. It feels good. All right. I guess it's time to video edit. Uh, all right, I'll be back. All four videos edited and loaded to YouTube and then realized I forgot one. So I had to film it really quick. Open, clean off the table and then film it really quick. Um, edit. Um, it actually turned out really cute for something that I completely forgot about. Anyway, so that'll be coming up and uh, sent out a few messages via Facebook to people, um, posted the sale of the Etsy shop everywhere. Um, I'm waiting for the video that I just did really quick to load and then I'm turning the computer off for the day. It's only 2.50 p.m. but 
it's Friday. It needs to go off. <laughs> I want to go down and have a snack, watch some YouTube while Bob, I'm waiting for Bob to get off work and then we're going to go to the grocery store. So anyway, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Hi everybody. It's just before 10 a.m. Saturday, July 23rd. And I've got kind of a lot to do today. I've got to water the plants. I've got to do the dishes, normal chores. I need to play with moving the vegetable pots around to where they might get watered by the sprinklers. We have a few upcoming dates where we're not going to be home long enough and it's going to be hot enough um, that if I don't do that, then I have to find somebody to water because they're going to be dead when I get home. So that's a thing. Um, I am going to have to find somebody to water house plants for me too, but I think one of the girls can do that. So anyway, <laughs> um, I also have a friend coming to visit in a couple months. I'm so excited about that. So I want to start planning what we're going to do while she's here. Um, but first, I guess I better do chores because breakfast dishes are clogging up the sink. All right, let's get to it. Bob's back from getting the Subaru cleaned and he's right now getting the tree sap off of my car because that's a thing when you live in Oregon near the woods. It's just a thing. All the chores are done. I drank my bone broth. I have a few minutes to kill so I'm going to surf the internet a little bit. Then we're going to go to one kid's house and water their plants and check the mail. And then we're going to meet the other kids for lunch. And then we have to go run a couple errands but it's all good. I'll be back. I'll show you guys this. So if you haven't seen my um, series of videos yet called The Messy Journaler, I'll link the playlist down below. Um, but I work in a specific kind of a journal. And although I do try to protect the finished pages, I don't worry too much about things getting messy and spilling over. And I guess that's a good thing because the cover looks like this. And although some of it's covered with plastic, it's not all. So yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I just took the plastic off. So I guess it's a good thing I don't care too much about it being messy. I think it looks pretty cool. I'll be back. Mom's working on the car. I finished some work in the yard. Plenty of seedlings to share with the kids after I planted the ones I wanted. Yay. Um, got it all watered. Got myself a quick shower. Changed my clothes. Sat down to have some water and watch a couple of YouTube videos and thought to myself, I really should get up and do... It took me five minutes. I thought of it one second, forgot about it in the next second. I'm, I remember what it is now, so I'm going to go... I gotta refill my pill box. It's time to fill. All right, I'll be back. I mentioned lately that we love the wildlife. I know it's ridiculous, but we do. All right, I'll be back. Nobody over here at this one, just that one. in the yard setting off the cameras. Let's see what it is. See anything? I think it was a cat. There's a lot of cats in the neighborhood, strays and otherwise, so I don't know. 
anyway, it's been a fun week and it's been a fun day. I can't believe it's seven o'clock already. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been a good week. I hope you guys have had a good one. Check out the video description for relevant links, um, happy mail address, links to my Patreon, all that jazz. I'd love it if you want to support the free content. Um, they do get access to me that you all don't and they get videos you guys don't have access to and all that stuff. So I would love that. Um, you don't have to, but I would love that. Like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. <sighs> stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'm going to go inside and sit and drink some more bone broth and just relax for the evening. I'll see you next week. Bye guys.